On receiving an interrupt, decrement the counter to zero. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler free review of William Gibson's Count Zero. Count Zero is a 1986 novel and book two in the Sprawl trilogy. I've also seen it called the Neuromancer trilogy, but it is a sequel to Neuromancer, essentially. It was originally serialized in January, February, and March of Asimov Science Fiction Magazine, which was edited to remove some of the sexual content and swearing, so you will have that content, though, back in this, you know, actual novel version. Uh, this is set seven years after Neuromancer. Biochips are a new product being controlled by two mega multinational corporations, and these are um, Hosaka and Moss Biolabs. Uh, Bobby Newmark, uh, going by Count Zero, is the main character. The term and the name itself are rather confusing. Uh, I, I want to act like I understand, but I don't actually understand, um, which isn't very surprising coming from Neuromancer. But Count Zero is only one of our characters. There are, in reality, many points of view. Um, there are threads that interwine later in the novel as well. The first is actually that of a mercenary named Turner who was to help someone, Christopher Mitchell, a biohacker, transfer illegally uh, between these two big corporations. Turner ends up with Angie Mitchell, daughter um, of this hacker, and they have a relationship. It also turns out Angie might have the key to immortality and omniscience in her head, which is pretty crazy, right? I believe this is all in Arizona. Um, it's a rural, which you don't see too much in cyberpunk, so that's nice. Uh, Marley Krushkova is hired by a patron of the arts, Josef Burek. Um, her reputation has been destroyed after trying to sell a forgery, which she didn't know was forgery. Uh, she was tricked into this and lost her art gallery in Paris. Uh, Burek wants her to find an unknown artist who has created pieces similar to that of Joseph Cornell. This is a secret interest of his, and it it goes from there, right? Uh, in New Jersey, Count Zero, an amateur computer hacker, is given a piece of black market tech to test, and it's kind of like uh, Day 5 it is given, or David, right? Um, in Snow Crash, if you know what I mean. Uh, when he runs the program, he almost dies, unsurprisingly, uh, but a certain entity, one of a girl made of light, intervenes and saves him. Then things get more hectic, and he ends up with Lucas, Beauvoir, and Jackie, a group targeted by corporations, and are interested in voodoo um, and voodoo deities, I guess, in cyberspace. These deities likely have something to do with Neuromancer and Winter Mute from Book 1. Sexual, reconstructing, damaged body, hacking, high-tech, death, and squalor, um, fractured and copied minds, ghosts, and questions of reality are all things that show up in this novel. Uh, it's why cyberpunk is fun, um, if a little much sometimes, um, but I really enjoy it, and I, I'm glad to finally have continued the series. It's been a minute since I reviewed Neuromancer. Uh, there is a Microsoft chip, actually, in this as well, to insert into yourself. Um, horses are now extinct, and AI sentience uh, are in cyberspace to a capacity and treated as a sort of gods or loa. Um, biochips bridge the border of man and machine, and we get ideas of person versus corporation, art, uh, what can be an artist, right, which is very, well, relevant to today, AI and sentience, uh, dreaming of being a hacker or somebody that can make money doing what you want, um, which doesn't happen too often sometimes, sadly. There's art history as well, which is interesting, incorporation, and, and so forth. It's a very unique flavor. It's not the coolest ever, I think. I mean, there, there's a lot of cool stuff here, and I like the story. I wonder if I like more of Gibson's short stories more, though. I really feel like you would shine more there. I've read maybe one, I think, at this point. The Grand's Back Continuum, and I really liked it. I really enjoy Neuromancer, even though it's, um, well, even though, you know, cyberpunk is punk, Neuromancer really turns around quickly, and he start, and the main character works for the man after only a short period in the novel. Um, but it, it still has a vibe that is cyberpunk, right? Um, and it, it's cool because it's not just gritty, but spiritual, almost um, in a lost futuristic world. And that is something, and it is definitely noteworthy what Gibson has continued here with his creation. Anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.